Hi guys, it's Dale here at GV Servicing. I'm the Master Tech Slash Workshop Manager. As you can see, we've got Wilfred's Rolls Royce Ghost here in the back. Um, in the previous video, you may have um, seen that he wanted a PlayStation uh, installed into his Rolls Royce. Yeah. And also, they were doing a few technological advancements as well. We'll be thinking Sky and Sky and the PS, yeah. uh, PS4, maybe a few additional items as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's there's what's it called? There's a TV and stuff in there, but it's not really. It's not. It's okay. But obviously, I thought. But why can't why don't I add Sky in there and obviously a PlayStation? I don't even know you could add a PlayStation in there until I asked you to be honest. So <laughs> yeah, being able to add that in the cars was going to make it even more of a better experience. Brilliant. Uh, we've got two major challenges there. We're going to be running um, the PlayStation off of the car battery by fitting an inverter, which converts DC voltage to AC voltage. And also we're going to be trying to run the factory screens, which obviously won't be an issue for us guys here at GV Services. Um, this is the PlayStation, um, which we're going to be installing. We're going to be running that in the boot and running cables through. Um, so you can obviously have USB chargers and also a charger for his uh, games controllers too. Um, and obviously uh, you can switch it on and off um, whenever he likes without getting out of the car and going into the boot. Um, so stay tuned and see what we can do. Hi guys, it's Dale here at GV Servicing. Again, as you can see, we've got um, Zahar's Rolls Royce Ghost here. Um, as you can see, we're at the back of the car, the back of the car stripped out. Uh, what we're planning on doing, we're gonna run an inverter here from the battery, and then we're gonna run the cables up here where the factory loop goes in, as you can see here. And it's actually going to branch up, and we're gonna look at having the PlayStation actually mounted here on uh, sliding mounts, so you can pull it off, you can disconnect it, take it home if you want to. And if you actually follow me around, if you come through to this side, we see first uh, first things first main um, the main uh, priority is making sure the car's protected as you can see here we've got all the seats wrapped up all the trims wrapped up door cards wrapped up too as obviously there are expensive components so what we're doing is going to run the cables through here underneath the carpet again where the factory looms go in so there's no endangerment of trapping wires and this is the actual control unit for the uh, rear TVs so if we just open this up these are the RCA, RCA inputs, um, being a 2015 model. Um, the newer models do have HDMI here, um, but this one's RCA, so we've actually got the converter. Pop that there. So it goes from RCA, as you can see there, and it comes out HDMI, so this will help us uh, integrate the PlayStation 4 with the factory rear screens under here. Uh, as you can see, we've got to set the console out, um, so now it's just uh, the process of, of routing the wiring and then starting it up and seeing how we go. Okay, so today I'm making a bracket to hold the chargers for the PS4 controllers. We're going to be mounting a dual charger setup on this bracket and then the bracket will be mounted on the inside of the vehicle so that the customer has easy access to his controllers and they'll be always charged for it. We're also going to include a switch for the inverter so he can turn on and off the inverter so we don't drain his battery. Thank you. Hi guys, it's Dale here from GV Servicing. We've actually got Wilfred's uh, Rolls Royce Ghost here. Um, the job has now been completed. If you come just through here, you can see the PlayStation has been mounted inside the boot. Um, it's not um, getting in the way of any of the boot space. This is on uh, slideable mounts, so you can literally just unplug it and take it off the mountains. And as a special thank you from GVE um, for Wilfred's Custom, we've also sprayed his controllers in Crystal Palace colours.